and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. I'm a very festive Ryan. Yeah, you are. Dude, I'm so, like... It's the once a year I break out the Harambe shirt. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I'm only wearing Geeking, my brand, my company brand, because yeah, I'm a whore. I need to get some uh, some of that uh, myself. You I saw it on the, uh, the book face. You want some of that? And, I yeah. got you. I got you. Excellent. I know the guy. I know the guy. Excellent. So I'm do that. Um... We had some good suggestions yes. this week. Yes. It was thoroughly appreciated. Mm-hmm. I definitely appreciated all that. There was a bunch of titles. Like, man! Like, narrowing it down. Like, Can we, you say Christmas came early? Yeah. And we didn't even keep it to our normal, like, five books each. Right. No, we actually, <laughs> um, what had happened was, <laughs> we started reading stuff. Yeah. And yeah. some of the stuff was so good that I was like, I'm not, not right. reading that. I couldn't figure out what to cut. I, I couldn't either. I yeah. literally couldn't either. So, okay, how many do we have that are the same? All right, so we got Dark Knight's Metal, yeah. uh, Hellboy. Yeah. Batman, yeah. and Backways. Okay, so we've got two titles that are totally different yes. through all of it. That's yes. awesome. Shelby's going to be so mad He's going to be... Um, <laughs> he's, he's already frowning. He is, but that's okay, um, because we love him. All right, so where do you want to start? Mm-hmm. That is a toughie. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause we mm-hmm. got Adam Hughes on the interiors. Okay, since you started that, let's, yep. let's go okay. there. Yep. Hellboy, Krampus Notch. Which is... Krampus for Krampus Night, I believe. Is that what that means? I think. I, I don't know, but it's awesome. Yeah. I want to use it as a swear. <laughs> Just with the little children. Krampus Notch! You little Krampus oh, Notch! Yes! Get the Krampus Notch out of my garage! <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, Adam Hughes on interiors. Like, when was the last time that's happened? I, I don't even what know. What decade are we in right now? It, I don't yeah. even... He doesn't do interiors. He doesn't. He is like... There's people that are just now reading comic books that only know him for his covers. Yeah. They have no idea no he idea did whatsoever. anything sequential. Do you think Mignola tricked him? He's like, I need 28 <laughs> covers. And he's like, yeah, that sounds cool. Well, we're well, going to have like some little covers yeah. in them. Maybe some words too to really. Yeah, and he's like, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I could do that. No, what I think happened is Mike's got like the negatives of something mm. of Adam's. And Adam's like, dude, I don't do interiors. He's like, you don't? You don't? That's what happened. I'll do it. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But no splash uh, pages. Because <laughs> Adam Hughes is so fluffy and snuggly. Um, I, I can't imagine what Mignola had to do it, yeah. in order to do that. Like, because like, you just don't see. Like when I opened up the book, I was like, <gasps> Yeah, I thought you were joking. No, I'm like no. What? Adam Hughes did interiors, and I was yeah. like, <laughs> so excited. Um, this book as a one shot, amazing so sauce. So good, and it's so Hellboy. Yeah, it is such a perfect Hellboy story. The only thing I lacked is I don't recall him saying, oh, crap. That's like my only complaint, oh. which is so, like, fanboy-like. I don't think he did. But I mean, other than that, you've got Hellboy right? fighting Krampus, and Krampus has an ulterior motive for why he wants Hellboy to fight him. Which was so yeah. freaking metal. Um, the photos in the back. Oh, that was so sweet. Yeah. Like, that part, I, you yeah. know what, you're right. I don't think he did say, oh, crap. Now, you know, but, I mean, we'll have to read it again. Yeah. We'll have to read it which, again. It's such a maybe, chore. Because instead of, maybe instead of, oh, crap, maybe he said, oh, Krampus. That would actually be I think be he might have said that. I that think he might have said, oh, Krampus. So, there you yeah. go. Or Grampus, which is written in there. Yes. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. That's a little sketch joke. You got to read the back, back, like the actual. And that was fun, too. Like yeah. that's, when you see stuff like that, especially on a creator who you don't normally see doing interiors, yeah. you see their process, you understand, like, oh, this is why. You yeah. do interiors. <laughs> you went extensive. Yeah. You didn't just, I'm just going to tell a story. He's like, yeah. no. There's, no, there's going to be no feet in this picture. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hooves. All hooves. All hooves. It's an all hooves issue. Um, it almost is. It is. Actually. Kinda, kinda, it's just, kinda is, yeah. It's very kind of cool. It's very kind of cool. All right, so what did you read that I didn't? I went here? with Ninja K number two. Mm, that was tough, man. It, it, yeah. I, I wanted I, I'm not that. Gonna was, lie. Yeah, that was one where I'm like, I wanted to go at mm-hmm. least one Valiant this okay. week. Okay. I ended up going two Valiant this week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and Ninja K mm-hmm. was pretty sweet. Okay. Christoph Gage still doing the writing. Sweet. Uh, Thomas Torello and Ro- Roberto Della Torre okay. doing the okay. art and the okay. interiors. Um, I am curious, Christoph, um, what is your problem with Glenn Fittich? It's, a, it's it? a very, very delicious drink, if I am speaking correctly about my adult beverages. But anyways. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> so we didn't bring the task, though. Yeah, like, like, damn it. What I'm, is wrong? What are you saying? Yeah. Sipping a taste of beverage. Yeah. yeah. So I respect that. I respect that. Um, I went for the Marvel. Is it officially two in one? Is that, is that what we're think, calling it? Uh, it's Fantastic two, two. I'm going to call it the Fantastic Two. Um, Chip Sadarsky, yes. um, Jim Chung, 
So first, let me tell you, this book is pretty. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, this book is very well written. And we just went through this whole like fan theory off camera of why this book came out, when it came out. Yeah. Come on now, let's let's keep this 100. We just get the announcement that Disney is now in control of, of the Fox material, and then, then this drops? Somebody knew something, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, somebody knew something. Um, if you are an old school fan of the Fantastic Four, you need this book. This is a great way to get back into the franchise. If they are rebuilding the Fantastic Four and using this as a vehicle to do it, this, this, this could have been any legacy Secret Empire story right here. This, this is what they need. This is the juice. Chip, you did your thing, sir. Salute you. I love it. Yeah, yeah this was good. Yeah, I this believe there good. are two Chip books this week, because I think Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man oh, also shipped. Yep. Chip is doing his thing. Yeah. He's making it a Merry Christmas, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. <sighs> this was a weird one for me. Dark Metal 4. Um, this series yeah. is thick. Yes, it's big. There's a lot of interwoven pieces of story. A lot. It's metallic and dense. Fibrous in nature. Very much so. Um, you have to be careful because this is not for your flyby fan. Yeah, you're not. You gonna, yeah, you're not gonna be like, I'm a fan of Superman and Batman. Oh, check I'm out Dark, out Dark Metal. Metal. No, you no. you have to be entrenched and DC lore yeah. to have an understanding of what this is. Um, and I feel like as much as I like that, because obviously that speaks to me. Yeah, a lot of like Easter eggs to us. Lots, lots. I, I do fear its accessibility to your average reader. Yeah. Like as, as, a, as a title, how is this doing? Is it doing well? It is selling pretty well. Okay. But this, I think this issue really kind of brings it to a, to like, I don't know, a head uh, yeah, where, where, where it's like, Who's the talking starfish? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and, and different other other aspects without spoiling anything. Right. That there are so, there's so much yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, it's it's tricky. It's very yeah. very tricky. Um, I'm almost wondering, like at this point, is this going to be a book that will truly be the most appreciated once it's collected all together and you can read the whole thing? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, look back. Okay, cool. Now right. it all makes sense. You know. So like, okay, would you say that maybe? Individual issues here are like singles, but you can't really appreciate it until you have the whole album. Possibly, yeah, because okay. each one has kind of had felt like that. It does. It does. It's. I mean, it's over the top and it's huge. Yeah. Like the scale is not the question. It's just the ability to follow it, yeah. the scale. I think that's the concern. Yeah. Um, it's gorgeous, though. I mean, so yeah. we've got Greg Capula on mm -hmm. on uh, pencils. Yep. Jonathan Glapian, my dude. Um, he's doing the inks. It's yeah. it's a gorgeous, it's freaking beautiful book. Yeah. And, it's about and that. especially when they're going through areas that aren't n natural. Yes. I don't know yes. if that's a way to say it. I like that. I like that. Um, I, what I love is the, the cartooned action. So, like, it reminds me of Kirby stuff okay. where it's, it's taking, you know, it could have just been a simplistic, like, oh, this happened. But yeah. you, like, push it and pull it and, yeah. you know, make it grandiose and kind of, you know, over the top. Um, I want to see a gauntlet versus gauntlet scenario. What do you yes. think? I mean, obviously, one gauntlet arguably has more power than the yes. other, but the other gauntlet, for reference though, sake, it's kind of a big deal it, 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 for that yeah. thing to exist. Like, yeah. I'm just throwing that yeah. out there. That's and that's not spoiling anything. No. there is something in there. You'll see. Yeah, you'll see. And I like. I need to see. Oh my god! Can you imagine if somebody does like a an homage cover to Infinity Gauntlet, but they use that? Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. Right? Like, why is that not existing, Greg? I'm gonna need you to make yeah. that a print. Um, make that a Wizard World exclusive print, actually. Uh, I know the Artist Alley coordinator. We should coordinate that immediately. Because that would sell. <laughs> it would sell in my house for sure. Yeah. Like, I definitely would buy one of those. So we need to, we need to converse about that. Yes and more yes. Um, man, some good reads. Some like, good. I had no real complaints at all. No, this is this is solid. It's a solid, solid. And this is just far. the this is just this the first first view, right? We haven't even gotten to the honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Okay, so honorable mention wise, we've got two that are the same. Yes, and then we we separate. Yes. Um, where do you want to start? Talk to me about this book, Invincible. So I tweeted earlier this morning that um, considering that this was the second to last issue, that I'm boycotting this series in an effort to extend out its life. If I don't read it. Then it didn't, it didn't happen. happen. Yeah. 
I read it. Um, we're almost at the end, guys. First off, on the cover here, the little shout out to Grizzly Shark. Yeah. Come on, Ryan. Really? You just. <laughs> If you're just gonna hit me in the heart, dude. I mean, huh? Um, interestingly, this is not just a quiet issue. Ooh. This is not going quietly into the night. This is building something so that when you get the last book, some stuff happens. However, however, um, I'm just gonna say right now uh, to my buddy Mike Watson, who's watching, uh, I was right. Kirkman told us a long time ago. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it. You know. <laughs> Boom. Kirkman told us a long time ago, Kirkman, you are a genius. The way you gave it to us, and then we were like, no, that'll never happen. You literally gave it to us. That's never happened. I don't think we've ever seen a, a, a future vision that has actually come true. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <sighs> yeah, it's almost over. <laughs> only, only another 28 pages. No, it's 48. It's a double sum. Oh. Another 48 pages. But I'm saying, though, like, it's it. Like, yeah. it's... I'm sorry. Tell me, tell me about something else while I collect myself. I'm sorry. I took on Quantum and Woody number one. Don't call it a, th a three-boot. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, three they say boot. it in there. That's awesome. Uh, very, very funny. Uh, it's got the goat. Uh, mm. It's got uh, Russian mob. It's got uh, secret government forces. It's got comedy. It, it's Quantum and Woody. It, yeah, it's man. Quantum and Woody. Like, like it's, I mean, Ever, they just did their job. Like, that's it, what that is. Yeah. They told their stories. Yeah. And they, and they do this one in a way that, once again, you don't need to have all that background knowledge. You come into it. It's right. two buddies that are, are somehow linked together and they're superpowers. Okay. And it's fun. There you so, go. So, like, Valiant, once again, is like, yeah, here, here's some good stuff. Here's a question come for on. you. Mm -hmm. Quantum and Woody, is this Valiant, Booster Gold, and Beetle? You can make that argument. Okay, okay, okay. I wouldn't, but you could. Okay, all right. W would you align them with any other dynamic duo? I really don't know, because I mean, they've got they've got their comedic aspects, right? So the closest corollary, I guess, would be would be those two. Okay, but okay. But there's something else. It, yeah. Something that separates it, makes it unique. It, yeah. Okay. Okay. Could be the goat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the goat. Yeah. 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 That's good stuff. Um, can we talk about that, yeah. ways? Number one. Um, Aftershock. God bless it. Mm -hmm. I swear. Okay, so I wasn't really feeling uh, the, the Monstro book from last week. Yep. I felt like it didn't give me enough to care. Yes. This. Solved. Solved. Because I want to know what happens to her. I, like, completely. Like, and what makes it so funny is I was so wrapped up, like, okay, we're going to see her again. I'm through the whole book. Yeah. Like immediately. Yeah. I'm like, yes. And it, well, it was okay, a very that's fast cool. read. It, it's a fast read, but it's smart. Yeah. It's really smart because you get a lot of info here yeah. and some really cool stuff. Yeah. Guys, if you aren't checking this out, I don't want to hear anybody talk about how comics are boring and it's always the same old thing. Yeah. Please don't do that. This is different. This is very, very different. Uh, um, right. Justin Jordan, Ele Eleonora Carlini. Um, Good. I'm looking for a, a book that has a strong female lead character. Boom. There. Boom. I'm looking for a book that has kind of like a manga inspired kind of dark artwork. Double boom. Boom. Double boom. Not superheroes. Yeah. Um, triple boom. boom right yeah. there. Like you've got so many different things that you can yeah. check off and yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. Like this was a good read. Like a Whedon S like Joss yes. Whedon. Yes. Dialogue oh. to it. Yeah. Good job. Good job. And again. Like it crosses over things because uh, my son was looking over my shoulder, mm -hmm. and he'll be fourteen soon, and he's like, "What's that?" Even though female protagonist, yeah, he's still like, "What's what's that, Dad? It looks cool. I want to know." There you go. That's good stuff. Now, one of the cool things, though, yes. in the back, they're promoting Cold War number one. Yes. And first of all, that cover is amazing. Is that's dope. Super miller but dope. all in the best way possible. Yes, yes. Christopher uh, Sabala. Yes. Hayden Sherman. Now, wait a minute. Why do I know that name? Hayden Sherman. It seems familiar. Like, I can see some of his work from where I'm sitting right now. He actually came into the store. Yeah, he did. That yeah. is so dope. It's very, very cool. Yeah, when I got that message from Scott, so our wall of artists' work now has his as well. So definitely. That's dope. 
check this stuff out. Thank you very, very much, Hayden. We appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, it's amazing. We basically signed our here book. That's what we call it. It's a yep. here book. I was here. Yep. Get it? And it's all his idea. Actually, he's the one that came up with it. I'm just geeky and nerdy that way. That's what that is. Last, but certainly not least. <clears throat> Batman 37. Yeah. It's, it's a double date. How stupid does that sound? But it's actually executed perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I am upset, moved, that this has not existed before. Tom King, of course. Clay Mann, yes. Um, I didn't realize how great of a combination that they are. I, I don't want to see Tom work with anybody else right now. Yeah, because this is just amazing. Like, while he's on Batman, I don't want to see anybody else. No disrespect to David Finch, to anybody else that's worked with, with Tom King. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody else but Clay Mann with Tom King. Um, this book... It goes back to back. It's so perfect. It does. Yeah. It's so... I'm buying this. The question. Oh, my God. <laughs> Answered. Oh, my Answered, okay? This book is so cute, so sweet. Yeah. I am suggesting, guys, if you have not bought your lady anything, if you have not bought your lady anything for Christmas, get two copies of this, get a bottle of whatever she likes to drink, some cheeses, and sit and read this together. You're welcome. Because it's not... Like Batman is dark and brooding. This isn't. This is just really cool. It's. It's. Some of these people have superpowers. Yes. But they're all just people. They're friends meeting Bottom and line. hanging out. Yes. This is like the best episode of Friends that never existed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling it. Um, oh my god. Yeah. The broship. Yeah. Between Clark and Bruce. Yeah. So good. The budding sisterhood between Lois and Selena. Yeah. It's so perfect. It is so perfect. And Clark's costume. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> it's so itchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hilarious. Um, this, I, without, like, and you almost can't, it, you can't it, talk yeah. about this book without spoiling it. But it's beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's, it's literally one of the most romantic books. If this isn't yeah. uh, nominated for a crap ton of stuff, I'm mad at all of y'all. Yeah. Because it's a, it, all of you. essentially a one-shot. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Though the two can go together. 36 and 37 can go together. But this is like a beautiful one-shot. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's technically Super Friends Part 2, is it yeah. not? I believe so. And again, like, let's, let's just go ahead and put this together in a quick little trade. Yeah. Buy a bunch of those. A bunch of those. Yeah. Like, come on. That's, that's so perfect. Yeah. Maybe it's, maybe it's because it's in, in a Batman book that that's the way it ends, but... Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I have no complaints. I just want more of this. Yeah. DC, please. Please, please, please. Keep them together. Yeah. This is working. Yeah. This is it. I mean, this could be the next Snyder and Capula. Yeah. Yeah? Huh? Could work. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. Now, before we get out of here, yes. we've got some guys that we got to shout out. Yes. Our new subscribers. Yes. Jason Colby. And Alex Mello. What up? How you guys doing? Thank you for it's following nice to us. Meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I apologize. Okay, so I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. Yep. I, I got to. There was comments made on an episode, two episodes ago, actually, um, asking what I wanted to argue about from uh, uh, Batman White Knight. I can't remember. So I'm going to read it again, and then I will respond. Because we want you to comment, obviously. We definitely want you yep. to like and subscribe to us. Hitting the bell button. Definitely you, do that yeah. to let you know when we got new stuff. And we have promised that when you ask questions, we will respond. I just couldn't remember what it was that I was arguing about. Yeah. So now i got to read it. I'm old, okay? I'm old no, and I get tired. I need a nap. 